Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to go through the derivation for infinite slope analysis. So let's now look at an infinite slope with no water. So this is our slope here, inclined at an angle of alpha above the horizontal. This here is our soil element. It has a width of B and a depth of D, and along the slope surface, this length is represented by B divided by cosine alpha. Now the soil element also has a weight force, which is represented by this here, W. And this W force can be broken down into a tang tangential force component, represented by T, and a normal force component, represented by N. And this normal force component is also balanced by this normal force here. Now we're interested in this force T because this is the force that is actually causing this soil element to want to slide down the slope surface. And this force is represented by, uh, sorry, this force is resisted by this force TF here, which represents the shear strength of the soil. So this soil element here has a unit depth into the page. And we'll be using effective stress analysis. So let us first consider the disturbing force. So the disturbing, fo the disturbing force is the force which causes the soil element to want to tend to slide down the slope surface. So that would be going in this direction here, and that would be T.